Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Creeps, Creatures, and Haunts. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about creepy slash haunted places that we have been, and also creepy haunted places that we want to go and hopefully plan on going in the future. Uh, we just thought it would be kind of fun to discuss places that we frequent, or places, not even that we frequent, but have been to and have just been our favorite places uh, that we have been. Because between the two of us, I feel like we've been to quite a few different creepy slash uh, haunted places. And if you're listening to us, this video, and uh, you know, you're used to following us in Haunt Talk, we're not talking about real haunted houses, unless they always happen to be haunted, which I guess in some instances actually might occur. But this episode is strictly for real um, ghosty ghost haunted places. Right. Or locations or whatever. So, I don't know, Kim, what is one of your favorite places that I'll, I'll let you get? Well, what is your one of your favorite places that you've been? Um. Well, I have to start off with a big one. Ohio State Reformatory. Yeah. I've been there for a haunted house. I've been there for ghost hunts. I've been there just for regular daytime tours. Mm -hmm. The place is creepy. It is really creepy. And, like, you don't even have to have an experience mm -mm. to just be creeped out at that place. Just walk um, walk through solitary confinement Ugh. by yourself. If you really, Ugh. yeah. Um, I enjoy I enjoyed doing that when we were there a few months back last year, which we have a video on. Um, there's a few things we caught when we were there. Not, not a ton, but, yeah, there's just the, the atmosphere of that place is. It's really creepy. It's really, like... Just, you feel like, like you walk up and down those cell blocks and you feel like there's someone standing at each and one of, each one of those doors. Yeah, you definitely do. Um, and you know, a lot of it's probably just because your mind playing tricks on you because it's just dark holes of space. Yeah. But I mean, that'll, but still, it's still really freaky. And I mean, just the cell blocks are so long and they're so big and like the paint's peeling and it's just very silent hill looking in there with how rusty everything is. It's oh, yeah. just... And the cool thing is, is usually even if you just go for like the normal tour or, or like the paranormal tour, like the paranormal tour we were on was just kind of like, it wasn't, it wasn't like a private, but we were allowed to go wherever we wanted. Yeah. Which was nice. There was really not many restrictions. There's like a couple areas, but really when we were there, I think they had almost everything open. They had a lot of stuff. Cause I remember the last time I was there, half of the stuff we went into was not open. And yeah. I was like, wow, I've never been in here before. And it was, it was actually really great to yeah. like see more of the prison. Cause it, it, it kind of like, you know, if you go to a place too many times, it's like you start to be like, okay, well, this is that, this is that. And you're like, okay, whatever. But it was nice. It was refreshing because it was like, ooh, this place is open. Ooh, yeah. this place is open. Let's go check this out. So it was actually really nice. And, of course, all those places were creepy as well. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but, yeah, that place that place is absolutely great. And they do a lot with the paranormal too. So if it's a place that you're interested in, you'll if, if you go to the website, you're more likely to be able to find an event that you can go to and explore it. Um, yeah. Definitely, definitely worth it if it's – even if it's further away from you, it is worth going to it. Um, one place I will say that I would actually uh, – I would love to go back to and actually ghost hunt because we didn't ghost hunt, but we did – Go there for the haunt, for their actual Halloween haunt, and then we did a tour of it. Um, was Eastern State Penitentiary mm, yeah. that place? Now again, we didn't ghost hunt, but what's cool about their tour is it's um, a self guided tour. So again, you can just explore. I took all kinds of pictures, and the cool thing about that place is there's a lot of art kind of exhibits and random cells. Yeah, some of it's really creepy stuff. Oh yeah, like the one that had like the vo the what was it, the voices. It was or a whole something? bunch of different people singing prison songs at once. Yeah. Oh, yes. that was creepy. All at once, and so it's just this cacophony of just voices. It, it was weird. Yeah. yeah, and you're supposed to stand in the middle of the room and just listen. And there's just like pictures of different inmates. I think it was hanging from the ceilings. Mm -hmm. Um, that place. It's very similar to Mansfield. Um, it's bigger than Mansfield because I think there's like five cell blocks. The cell blocks aren't as stacked as Mansfield, though. Where Mansfield, it's yeah. like each of their cell blocks is like three stories yeah. high. Well, uh, four, I believe. Is it four? Four. Okay. But like Mansfield only has like east and west, whereas Eastern State is actually out in like a like a um like a starburst. So I think yes. there's like five. Yes, it has from five. Like a, yes. like a, there's the general hub and then there's like, you know, five. things yep. poking out of it. 
So it's it's huge. It's really really big. Yeah, it it is it is really big. And again, I would love to go back there for a, a ghost hunt at some point in the future. It is kind of far from us because it's Philadelphia, so it's like what a six seven hour drive. Um, or that yeah oh yeah it was it was far. But I would <laughs> I would really like to go back to that place. That place was really cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, one place that I went to that Josh actually hasn't been to yet. No, and it's on my bucket list. I want to take him there because this place is just so much creepy, super wow. Um, Waverly Hills Sanitarium. It was really like just, I, I don't know, the feeling... Because you know what happened there because it was one of those tuberculosis hospitals and stuff like that. And if you're familiar with tuberculosis, back in the day, they didn't really know how to treat it. So they just kind of experimented on things, you know, like, oh, you can't breathe. Let's take some of your ribs out. Yeah. You know, oh, you know what's good for not being able to breathe? Fresh air. Let's roll you outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... If you're a believer in that ghosts can manifest themselves from traumatic experiences, I mean, what? I mean, there's literally oh. the death tunnel, oh my which is just where they would put body pile up bodies and just push them down along chutes so that the other patients yeah. wouldn't have to see all the bodies going yeah. down all the time. Yeah, and it. I remember we went in there and there was a group of us, and I want to say there was probably like eight or ten of us, and we all were like. You couldn't keep your balance right. in there. It was just, I mean, it wasn't even that it was off kilter or anything like that. It was just the feeling in there. It just, I, I don't i don't know how to describe it. I literally felt like I was being pushed back and forth. Like I couldn't get my balance. I ended up leaning against the wall, which doesn't really help much. But, um, <laughs> and uh, it was just, it was, it was really just downright creepy and the place was just yeah just so much sadness it was just i mean those hallways are just so like i don't know just creepy and you get the doors and the light and it just i I don't know and the night we went it was a huge rainstorm or huge thunderstorm so in with that is you had like these like booms and the rain and everything oh, I would add to it, yeah. and it just was like it like i felt like i was abandoned and like like stuck there like i couldn't hmm. get out that's how how bad that would this be place cool looked. to investigate i would I actually i don't think i've ever done an investigation where it's storming actively like that oh that would be gosh. that'd be fun well um, they do say that um spirits are able to use the energy from the lightning and the thunderstorm and stuff like that to manifest they can actually use right. that energy to yeah, that's believe, do yeah. things um i feel it did help our investigation quite a bit because we did have some pretty creepy things happen um but uh definitely would like to go back there that's definitely a place i'd like to go back yeah i would like to just go in general and he'd yeah, like to go in general be, <laughs> that would be cool um man we've been to just so many places um one place that i really wish that uh we can't go back to it again um i can't remember the name of it that place in Canton, the nur- the nursing home or whatever. Oh, Colonial. Yeah, Colonial Nursing Home. That place. Um, that place was cool. That was really cool. So basically, it was it was an old abandoned nursing home, and we, we at the time we had um, an acquaintance or friend, whatever you might want to call him, and uh, they would let us basically go something we wanted to. They would be like, "Yeah, just bring a drill and take the." Um, bolts out of the door and you can just go in you know so we had went there many times mm-hmm. um and weird stuff like we had doors closed on us the one time but it was just <laughs> it was just fun because like as a paranormal investigator like i feel like a lot of ghost hunters if you have that place you have that place where it's like it's your place and you can just kind of go as mm-hmm. you want you know because a lot of places like mansfield for example if you want a private investigation it's very expensive if you don't have a lot of people going with you it's close to 200 dollars per person yeah and that's even with you and that's if you have a decent amount of people with you yeah if you if you just yourself it's thousands yeah mm-hmm. it's it's insane how much they charge me like that but it's so popular that you know that that's what they can charge mm-hmm. it and so they do mm-hmm. just like anything in life you know if they can charge it they will um <laughs> but you know to have a place that is active and that it's haunted and that not that many people know about and you can just kind of go when you want 
mm-hmm. um, you know, because we also had a flea market in Alliance that, um, that we used to investigate. I don't really know how haunted it was necessarily, but places like flea markets and stuff, just because they have so much old um, mm-hmm. items, there's the potential, I guess, there. If that's like, if you believe that ghosts can be attached to items or whatever, then there's that potential there. Yeah. That's why a lot of times you'll see people say, like, you know, if you buy something from, like, a flea market and you know it's old and stuff, you might want to sage it (laughs) just before you bring it in the house and, like, make sure that nothing is attached to it or whatever because you never know because, yeah, you know, someone's grandma could be attached to that little clock that you just bought, you know, you never know. But, yeah, (laughs) I guess I do. I just miss having a place that was kind of like our place where we could just go hunt ghost hunt it all the time like an actual indoor location but well another place like that that unfortunately we can't do anymore is um lime elementary oh yeah yeah that was a big one that um, was in bellevue ohio and um that one i used to go to a lot like after a while i just kind of be like hey you guys open this weekend and i'd go <laughs> and uh i mean that place was um, if you're not familiar with it, you can actually get familiar with it if you watch our movie, The yeah. Haunting of Lime, that was actually filmed there. Yeah. Um, that place is very genuinely haunted. Um, the spirits in the film aren't, well, one of them's kind of based on yeah. some of the spirits yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, but, the janitor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, that place was really creepy. There was a lot of really weird stuff that happened there. Um, there was a little girl that was always there, and she would always, um, she would always come through in the ghost box. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you would always get her, and uh, we would actually play um, games with her. We would like tell her we would hold up like cards with colors and be like, "What color is this?" Or, you know, crayons or whatever. Whatever had a color. And we go, what color is this? And you would hear through the ghost box a little girl say, purple, red, hmm. green. And it was just it was just the coolest thing ever. But there also was some really creepy spirits there as well. Um, I know a friend of mine actually um, wouldn't go there anymore because he got scratched down in the basement. Hmm. And... Uh, had some other experiences there but that place was really creepy and really cool and i do miss it i wish i could go back there i never really ghost hunted there i think we, i just basically made that movie there but as far as ghost hunting like i don't think i really ever ghost hunted there but um mm. it was a creepy old building though for sure um god making that movie was a nightmare uh, <laughs> <laughs> go watch it Haunting a lime. All right. Uh, yeah, I definitely do. If you haven't checked out any of our short films, like I said, we, we make that. Uh, we, we, we make movies as well. Um, you know, like, I don't even know how many of them, a few, but they're there for you to watch. Um, they're all free. So go do that. <laughs> um, Please. Uh, you know, and like, I kind of. I like, like, going to, like, the outside places, too. It just sucks because since we live in Ohio, you can't always, like, you know six months out of the year it's not fun to do stuff outside um essentially but of course like i mean like they're very they're far they're not close to each other i suppose but beaver creek and both cuyahoga falls are like these Mm. two places that are fairly close to us they're not close close but within two hours of each other yeah that um there's just so many different legends and hauntings around both of those places where you can just make like a whole like weekend of just driving to different little yeah. haunts and just doing that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, and it also kind of is reminiscent of my childhood because I did that a lot when I was like in a junior high and high school. My friends and cousins stuff, we'd go to a lot of those like spooky places and, you know, I guess that's that's where most people I feel like start getting into the paranormal and ghost hunting in general is just going to like your dumb little like bridges where you like turn your lights on and off 20 times and your car like explodes or something, you know, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> those type of things though, you know, um, th- uh, those are fun and I, and I still enjoy going to those places and we plan on going to Cuyahoga cause we haven't really filmed any much, much in Cuyahoga as far as ghost hunting goes, but we plan on doing like an episode on Helltown and a lot of the other places that are actually supposed to be haunted, not just dumb legends like Helltown is, but spoiler alert, um, <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just do a not legend. watch the documentary. Oh my God. That was made by the Travel Channel. It's, it's not even, it's filmed in Canada, awful. right? Awful. Yeah. And it's nothing to do, it's not even like the right legends. It's so 
It's oh, I don't understand it. They like find like a bunker underground or something. They find a bunker underground. They Ugh. think that it's um, haunted by the Wendigo. <laughs> and like the Wendigo goes like into the bunker and kills all these people. And it, it like you can blatantly tell it's every insane. single actor cause, is from Canada because they've got that Canadian accent. And it's just like. Like, I watched it. I actually gave it a chance. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> and I just was like, wait, what? Yeah, it's like, no thanks. No. So, you know, like, as soon as people saw this, probably there was, like, a ton of people that went down to Cuyahoga, like, the next weekend and was like, oh, well, where's that underground bunker? Where's that hole in the ground? I need to go find it. Or that so cement stupid. slab that they put on top of it. And it's just like... My God, like it was just—it was so bad, so bad. Yeah, it, it was—it was really, really dumb. Um, <laughs> but man, we've just—you oh, know—we've just ghost hunted like so many places. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and like we used to be able to ghost hunt at the um, the Agora Theater, but they have restored it, which is good that they've restored it and it's yeah. back to like operational and stuff. But you used to be able to go there and ghost hunt for a little while. Um, before it was like back to operations and right. stuff. Yeah. Um, that was a cool place. Um, I know you went to Franklin Castle. You you know that was a that was a place you went to that was cool. That's really hard to get into now. Mm-hmm. I know you said that we'd like to go and investigate Eastern State, but I'd also like to go to West Virginia State Penitentiary. Oh yeah, or Moundsville as it's known as. Yeah, well, neither of us have you investigated there. No. Yeah, neither of us, and neither of us have surprised. We've been there, right? We've been there for yeah. ghost, uh, for haunted houses. Yeah. Moundsville would be fun to go to because their their haunted house is weird, and like you really just get to explore a lot of it. That'd be a fun one, and I know they do ghost tours there as well. So we'll have mm-hmm. to. There's just so many places, and like I said, a lot of them just aren't cheap. So that's why it's easier just to go to these ones that are like outside and stuff like that, where you can just kind of walk up to or like abandoned places that you're allowed yeah. to get to and stuff like that. Which even that, there's not that many of them, um, you know, that you're actually allowed to go to. But mm. yeah, another place we plan to go to that I want to go to is Moonville Tunnel. Now that's an outside oh, location, yeah. but I've been wanting to go there for quite some time, and it's more like ooh, it's like Cincinnati-ish area, somewhere yeah, around it's there. More, yeah, more Southern Ohio. Yeah. There's a couple other places in Cincinnati that I know I would like to go to that are supposed to be haunted. I like to haunt, I like to go to the Dent Schoolhouse, but I don't know if they like. Well, they, I think they do. Don't they? They do have it. Yeah. So I'll have to do that as well. Um, you know what I mean? You as the listeners, do you have any suggestions of places that are in Ohio or surrounding that's not insanely far away that, you know, you would recommend us going to? Um, especially if it's a place that we don't have to, like, make, like if it is a place, like, for example, Moonville Tunnel, where you can just go to it. Like, I mean, any place is cool, but, like, these cool abandoned, like, hidden places that are creepy or whatever, even if it's not necessarily haunted, um, you know, we would like to go to it. Um, and if you're listening to this, soon we're going to be going to um, Randolph County Infirmary, um, which that'll be interesting. Uh, I don't know exactly what to expect from it. I've said I've seen a little bit about it, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out this weekend. And the podcast after this one, we'll be talking about our experiences there and kind of like, you know, what we thought about. It. And there'll also be a video. Um, to go with that as well. So if you're listening to just the podcast version and want to see like actual footage of these places we're talking about, make sure you go to the YouTube channel and subscribe to it and, you know, uh, like, yeah, ring the notification bell because um, a lot of this stuff is coming up. Like Mansfield, we already have episodes on, but most of these places we don't because we weren't really filming stuff like this until recently. We basically just did short films and haunted house reviews. Um, but, you know, we're doing a lot of this stuff. Uh, yeah. Now including this, where we talk to the microphone and I upload it in both audio and video form. So, yay. yay! We also eat things because that's something else we like to do. So enjoy that too, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's think about like, okay, what's your bucket list place that you want to go to? Waverly Hills. That's that's the place that I, that's the place that I would. Um, th- I mean, there's probably there's other places that I'd like to go um, that I will never probably get to go to, um, like. Uh, Pavalia Island in Italy. Mm. I'll never get to go there. I know I won't get to go there. Um, but Waverly Hills is definitely doable. Um, that 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 is probably... It's been... Um, as a kid watching ghost shows, um, one of the 
it's one of the earlier seasons of Ghost Hunters when they went to Waverly Hills for at least the first time. Mm -hmm. And they got a piece of it. And I, and I never forget because um, my parents got divorced, but my um, but I would be with my dad on the weekends and with my mom during the weeks. And my dad was really into the ghost stuff. My mom wasn't. Um, and I would watch Ghost Hunters. And then I would always call him and uh, talk to him about the episodes afterwards. It's the thing we did. Um, but I'll never forget the Waverly Hills episode. There was... They caught like just a full-bodied apparition in the thermal camera, just looking at them through one of the windows, which is like I guess a thing that people see a lot is just things in the windows. You were mentioning that earlier. And I remember like as soon as a commercial break hit, I called my dad. I'm like, "You see that piece of evidence they got?" And he's like, "Oh, because you know I me mean, again." The ghost shows were newer. There wasn't like a hundred of them like there is now. There was like two or three. <laughs> ghost Hunters was really the only mainstream one at the time, though, you know. And it was just like mind blowing to me that someone caught something like that on camera and that I got to see that. And it was so exciting. My dad, you know, he was all excited about it too. I don't know, it was just like a cool moment, and like that alone, um, and I don't really remember anything else about the episode, necessarily, but you know, just that, I think that memory also makes me want to go to that place, just because it's been a place that I've wanted to go to for so long, um, because of seeing it at such a uh, early age, I guess, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, what's, what's a bucket place list that you... I would like to investigate the Queen Mary. Yeah, because you've actually got to go there. Where I is the Queen I actually got Mary? to go. It's in California. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. so it's going to be a little while for that one. But. <laughs> um, I actually went there when I was younger with my parents, and we went on a paranormal tour, which it actually was themed towards the paranormal of what happens on the ship. And they actually did have some theatrics and lighting and things like that happen. But we actually did have a weird experience that happened. I don't know if it was paranormal per se, but it was kind of creepy and it kind of freaked our tour guide out. Um, we were in this one area and uh, we wanted to get into the nursery. And our tour guide went up to the door and it was locked. And she's like, this isn't supposed to be locked. And she looks over at my dad and goes, sir, would you do me a favor and pick up that phone that's next to you? Someone will probably pick up once the dial, once the dial tone hits. Someone will probably pick up and say, you know, hey, what can I help you with? Let them know that I need the keys for the nursery. So my dad picks it up and he's there and he's listening for a few seconds and he's like, there's no dial tone on this phone. And our guy turned white. And she's like, excuse me? And he's like, there's no dial tone on this phone. And he even gave the phone to her and she listened. There was no dial tone on it. And she freaked out. She's like, okay, well, we're just going to move on then. <laughs> and she hung up the phone and we went to a different area, which I thought was pretty creepy. But, um, I mean, that place is supposed to be a huge portal. Like the whole swimming area, like the swimming pool area is supposed to be a huge portal for spirits to come and go as they please. Um... Just it, It's just overall a really creepy yeah. place. A lot of really cool things. Um, one of the soldiers that was on the ship when it was um, active, because it used to be called the Grey Ghost, when it was active during war, he actually got crushed by one of the um, doors. They had automated doors, and they were like flood doors, and they would close. And if you were in the path of them, you're kind of SOL. Because they were like huge, yeah. thick steel doors. Well, he got stuck and he got crushed by one of those doors. And he's said to haunt that area there. Um, there's a little girl that's supposed to haunt the whole area and she leaves toys out. And you hear her foot, you know, giggling and running around. You see little girl footsteps in the swimming pool area, like wet footsteps and stuff like that. Um... I would just love to actually go there actually now with equipment and investigate like a full-blown yeah. thing. Because back then, I mean, all we did was we walked around and we were like, ooh, this is creepy. You know, you get those sensations and stuff like that. But that's about it. Um, I'd love to go back to the Queen Mary for sure. Yeah, that would be an awesome place to go to. And I would like to go to – I don't think you can really ghost hunt there, but you can definitely do tours of Alcatraz. I haven't been there yet, mm. and that's also California. That would be that would be another place I'd really like to go. Like I said, I don't know if they do any kind of ghost hunts there, but they do. do they? Mm -hmm. That would be an awesome place to uh, go to. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's just, there's just so many places that I would <laughs> like to go to and places that I have been to. Um, never be able to get to them all because, there's you know, they're all scattered all throughout, um, you know. 
I wish I was brave enough to do some of the stuff like they do in like the adventure type paranormal shows, like you know the Destination Truths and that, where like you go out to like the middle of the jungle and all that. But I'm like, that yeah, just no. scuba diving and yeah, like investigate that. a ship that's underwater. Like the idea of it is thought <laughs> fun, but like then you go to do. I mean, like no, that's good. Yeah, One could no. just the thought of, like like being in the forest sucks. Being in the jungle, like all the mm. bugs Ew. and just Ew. ugh. Ew. Yeah, Not. good good on them for doing that. Like, they have the roughest one. I mean, like, Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures, they sit in, you know, a creepy old building. Like, they're out in the middle. These people are in the middle of jungles, swimming in lakes and rivers and stuff, <laughs> trying to find some monster and they're never going to find, you know. It's just, yeah, it's interesting. But, I mean, I think, I don't know, that's probably it, right? Yeah. Probably, right? Yeah. Any other place you want to mention? But, but yeah, again, you know, I mean, what, and let us know what place you'd like to see us go. And also what places, what's the freakiest place you guys have been to, you know, yeah. let us, let us know that. What place would you like to go to that you haven't been like, what's your bucket list place? You know, also, um, help us out and share the video, give it a like that, um, helps a lot too. If you listen to the podcast, share our podcast, you know, make sure you subscribe, leave us a review, helps us out a lot. Um, if but, you want to help us go to some of these places, become a Patreon. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Because, again, we don't <laughs> make much money off doing all of this. Um, you know, we kind of go and do all this as a hobby. So any, any any little extra helps, you know, and there's a whole bunch of incentives. We have a whole Patreon video. You can watch us on the YouTube page of all the different incentives for you to become one. Fun things like getting gift, um, uh, cards in the um, monthly and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I think that does it for this episode. And we will see you guys in the next. Bye. No!